whistling diesel to the promised land. Squeaking by on the work by the money of my father's hands. Money ain't spent by what your harvest stays. So those who stand between us must look to your problems, man. What you got there? What are you doing? We're out of trucks. It finally happened. After years of everyone saying once you destroy stuff, you're not gonna have anything left. Hey, you having fun? <laughs> hey, I was wondering, uh, is there a chance you wouldn't mind us borrowing your truck for a few hours today? I had to make some errands into town and I don't have a truck because it was at the shop. Okay, appreciate it. All right, see you soon. Thanks. My grandpa is great. He actually lets people borrow his stuff. Like most people are scared that if they let other people borrow their stuff, they're not gonna keep up on it. You been busy? Yes, I've been real busy. Yeah, hogs, a little of everything. Got some corn in the bag. Yeah. Got some big clevises too. You been towing? <laughs> yep. What do, you got, what do you got this in the bag for? <laughs> Just need to run some errands with it because all my other trucks are at the shop and stuff, so they broke down. Well, I'll let you use it, but take good care of it because I hope that's the last truck I need have to buy. So change your oil for me. It's in here. The oil is better on the inside than it is, looks on the outside. Mm -hmm. Take it easy. All right. I'll have it back to you uh, tomorrow. So All right. Appreciate it. I think he's a little concerned. <laughs> you hit this thing. Oh crap. Dude, I came way too fast. The whole front end of the truck is like off the ground. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Everything's falling off this thing. <laughs> the whole step. Dude, I thought I was screwed. I couldn't steer. I couldn't stop. I, I know. couldn't stop. I just I was like 50 mile an hour. In here. <laughs> That's from I hit the trailer hitch sticking out. That's all it does. I'm not even doing a burnout. What the crap? I think you uh, might have gotten the bedside a little bit there. Your grandpa's gonna be pissed. Hop in and steer it. Let's put it back away before he notices. Okay.
What happened to the bed? I don't know. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hi. I'll just let you know your truck is ready to pick up. We're all done with it. Okay. Hey, we, we washed it for you and changed oil, so. Good. All right. You coming over soon then? Yeah, I can come right now. All right. I'll see you soon. Pulling in to get my hair cut, someone T-boned me from the back right. I hope they had insurance. I know you're wanting to keep the bed intact, but it got we got a hold of it because when they had to tow it home, it got ripped Flopping. off. The whole bed got ripped off on accident. But thanks for letting us use it. I appreciate it. Our, your Clevis got someone threw it through the window too. So it got kind of beat up. Back, you could just get a new back window and. A new bed and a new door for well, I think that door was like that before because it had. Is it not moving? Yeah, they. Your trans blew. Oh my goodness. Because you were taking it, you were driving, put so many miles on it. Well, I guess I have to rent one. I could, no, I can fix it for you. Just pay me, just give me a check tonight and I'll get it swapped out for you. All right. <laughs> what do you say they use it for? To pick up like excavators and stuff on top of buildings. Yeah, because you crane. don't want that breaking when you're lifting the excavator on top of a building, that's why. 300,000 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> what? That could lift like a whole property. <laughs> I'm not pulling that out every time I gotta put a rope through here, dude. That's gonna suck. It's gonna. <laughs> Go out with the Crosby. Yeah, no, that's a five thousand dollar. Holy crap! Have like ten tow ropes coming out the back. Two hundred fifty thousand pound snatch ropes. Then when it gets stuck, we hook ten of the world's largest tractors up to it to pull it out. All right, so we're. Going to look at Monster Max. It's been a while since I've been to this shop. They have the den site too, but we're going to, we got a bunch of parts in for Monster Max, so I'm going to check it out. Um, up in Michigan here, so the tires and axles came in and they got a lot of the cradle done. I just want to see the axles pretty much because they're absolutely insane. So, oh Jesus, my clevis is in the back too. But, uh, um, anyway, so $75,000 in axles and tires and stuff got delivered. <laughs> <laughs> So here's our new axles, and the tires are very wide. <laughs> what the heck? Huge. Those are some wide tires. You can sit in those. Oh, you can stand. I mean, you can stand straight up in them, actually. Look at this. I can stand straight up almost. <laughs> it's like 300 pounds. Here's our old one, and we bent that, so this pin won't even thread into it anymore. So I got this. And I was like, well, we could use that one. Well, I was like, we probably bend that one too. So we got this one. <laughs> there we go. This hub, guys. That hub, about two and a half feet tall. On this side. There's some... Here, grab one. We'll roll it over and show them. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. I don't think we're rolling He's that over anytime. Here's our first time ever trying to climb up on top of one of these. Have fun with that. I think it's going to roll pretty. All right, so behind me is Monster Max 2. It's 150 ton axles. They're made for military cranes. So it's, it's I think the brand, it's a Kelmar PO2619Z7X250. Um, but it's the third series. So you actually run into the, the stage nine uh, hubs on them, which is a PO76 Keltec axle 9472. Um, this is the retaining bar for this axle to keep the hub from flopping around. That sucker's just bent in half there. These are a 30 to 1 ratio. So every 30 times the input spins, this spins once. So that's like you put it in idle and it just goes. So here's our old axles, which I find kind of funny now actually. They look puny compared to the other this, ones. This look like normal truck axles, right? This is my hub on the new axles. I can move this by hand. What the heck? It weigh, it literally weighs less than 40,000 pounds. These and are then, probably the Monster Jam ones right here. Yeah, these are 
These are literally the axles they use in Monster Jam, guys. Okay? Look. I can lift this. Look. The... That's a Monster Jam axle, okay? Y'all telling me to get Monster Jam axles. Oh, I'm pretty sure the Monster Jam people need my axles, okay? Because once you get this puppy, I, I wonder if I can move it. Let's see. Oh, the hub is swelling. Look. You're barely moving it. This hub comes almost up to my waist. The shafts on these are this big around, okay? It's a snap and axle shaft, that big around. It's a foot and a half diameter. So this is the size of, of my axle shafts. I have axle shafts this big. So oh, y'all that have ball joints on your Duramaxes, here's my ball joints under here. So my ball joints about this big around. It's a big old cylinder of cryptotanium. Wait, hold up. Oh yes, there we go. Turn it. <laughs> All those gears I can turn by hand because it's so reduced. That's insane. That's a big boy. I didn't even know these existed. He sent me a picture and we were laughing like, that'd be hilarious if we put those under. Like, it, that won't even work. And then I was like, let's do it. He's like, it's not possible. You can, it's wider than a trailer. Because the trailer would come to here, so you got like four feet sticking out. And he's like, it's going to cost so much to move everywhere. And I said, it's Monster Max 2. So a Monster Jam truck weighs about 12,000 pounds. So does my axle, one of them. So there's your reference if you all tell me to get a Monster Jam truck. Anyways, here's my hub and here's the inside of my tire. We had to get these low sidewall ones because how else are you gonna fit this hub inside of a, a rim any smaller? You know, like this is bigger than the rims on my other wheels and tires. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> all right, go back. <laughs> okay, whatever. So they're Titan Tire LSW 1400s. They use these on Big Bud, so that's where I got the idea. Everyone thought we we're gonna do a tug of war with Big Bud, but we're actually just gonna become Big Bud. We're waiting on the rest of these. For now, we only have four, so. Oh. See, small amounts of steel have been added to our cradle. And our new cradle is the length of the whole truck. So when we hit the jump and this fender came up, because the front of the frame was just kind of bending. So they went all the way up here with it. So in order to bend that frame, I got to bend all this. The truck is literally bolted to the, the I-beams that are holding it up. So that's the only thing that'll hold all this weight. So, so all along here, the frame in the back gets more narrow. So they added solid steel to the sides of it to make it the same width all the way, all the way back. This is as low as it'll go, right? This yeah, is axle sitting on the ground, shocks fully compressed. So this is as low as it can possibly go. So you may remember the, the little bars that used to hold my axles on. This is our old material that was on our steering and our link bars going from our axles. And then this is our, our new, the new um, link bars. So there's our four link. It's uh, holy crap, that's half inch wall or three. What is that? <laughs> so. You have 2,000 pounds of length right It's $400 an inch for that stuff. And then the Himes and shocks aren't here yet, so we're waiting on that, but cool. the drive shafts to be level so we don't have real steep angles. And that looks huge right now, but it's actually gonna look pretty tiny. It'll be proportionate when the tires and wheels are on, so. Will it fit out the door right now? You can barely squeeze out that one. Oh, that one. We'll talk about drop boxes later, but my old drop box is laying over there. But the new drop box is Supposedly, it's like six feet tall. All you, all the people that said that my truck was garbage because they kept breaking drop boxes, I, I talk about cool stuff to do, and everyone be like, "Oh, it'd be five minutes, and I'll just break it again." Well, okay, we'll see. We'll see if we if we break this one. So right here is my rear frame. You can see where it gets narrow, where the old frame is at, and then the new plate is all welded on there. So we got like a tractor frame now. All the way up. Yeah, it's at height. I only got four and a half feet more. I mean, just lot. the tires, that's not shocks. So then we got another foot on the shock. So, so five feet, four feet. This is, I find it funny that this is actually the old height. This is our height, the, the old Monster Max was this tall and everyone's like, oh my God. <laughs> because that, yeah, that's like the old height. Everyone had to just reach <laughs> yep. straight up. It's going up four and a half feet with just the tires on it before you put the shocks on it. And the shocks are 30 inch travels. So the, the light bars out there won't even aim on the ground for a quarter mile. Yeah, so everyone liked always to complain about how it was just a doggy old Duramax and I should get an actual Monster Jam truck so I don't have power. Um, 
First of all, I'd like to keep it a diesel, and second of all, it's my first truck, and I'd like to keep it how it was. It was a little laggy because the weight of it, so you may wonder what we're doing because of all the weight we're adding. How, oh how, are we gonna have enough power to ever move this? So back here, there's a nice little cubby. They call this a bed. And what we're gonna do is put a, another whole drivetrain of another Duramax, just like this one. In the front of the motor, you're gonna have a radiator sticking out right back here. And then the whole motor and trans are gonna go right back in to there. So we're gonna have double the horsepower and double everything. So. What's 700 plus 700? 26,000. So this thing is gonna have 26,000 foot-pounds of torque. And I don't think we're gonna have a problem moving it. I really don't. So Mr. Dan, the, the math, the Duramax wizard is gonna do his work on this. And he's gonna wire both motors and transmissions together so that they shift at the exact same time. Now you may, you may be wondering, that's kind of complicated, right? Yes. So hopefully it works. So I finally have twin transmissions after joking about it for all these years. We're finally gonna, we're gonna have a transmission here and there's gonna be a transmission there. Maintenance on this is gonna be a, nothing because they don't break. I haven't broken a single thing on that motor yet at all, actually. That's kind of weird, actually. Yeah, that is amazing. I've never broken a single thing on that motor. It's a stock motor from everything. I've done all my videos with that. So yeah, I just realized we needed the driver's door, but I got into that with a skid loader. I actually bought this from Iowa for the powertrain. So here's our rear engine. I actually never even looked at this before we got it, but it looks pretty healthy. But the motor and everything is getting thrown in the bed of Monster Max. So we're gonna have a motor and a motor and a drop box, and they're both gonna go into that from twin transmissions, and they're gonna drive the same drop box, but you gotta have a reverse case on the opposite side because it's been the opposite way as the one. So. Um, they're just gonna wire those right together and then we'll have two motors driving all this. We have a little bit of work ahead of us. Thank, I'm not doing too much on it actually. All right, and here's a uh, 30 inch travel shock. These are Titan Tire LSW 1400. So LSW's low sidewall. And that's because all the like giant tractors weigh so much and they can go like 90 mile an hour nowadays. They don't want them swaying everywhere going down the road and planting and stuff. So. Um, not everything needs bigger tires, believe it or not. So that way we can have some large, some gigantic forged aluminum wheels in here that no one likes, you know. It's gonna be really hard to make these float is the problem with the truck, the axles in them. Really nice tires. They're literally the best looking tire out there. It's the world's largest agricultural tire. So I need more of these. This would be a really nice living room ornament. All right, well, thanks for watching guys. Go check out Titan Tire. Um, if you have a giant tractor that needs gigantic freaking tires, and you want it to look better than all the other tractors, get some LSWs because they make every other tire look kind of lame. That was my first truck ever, and I kind of started on a really small budget and just did what I could, and, and I ended up on way bigger tires than was meant to be on it. And it just was, it wasn't built quite right just because I started it with nothing, you know? I will prove you so miserably wrong that you regret being born on this earth. I'm pretty sure that Monster Jam trucks can't pull 14 trains in a row while they're trying to drive the opposite direction. I'm pretty sure they can't do that. If you want to try, you want to say that they can, then we'll set it up and we'll do a video. So if you want to try to laugh and diss my new truck, then go ahead because that's what this one's made for, okay? The other one, I was just doing what I could. This one, I'm doing what you think I can't do.